Chapter Twenty Five, Democracy, Elements and Functioning. Let's learn Universal Adult Franchise, Elections and Their Procedure, Coalition Government, Political Parties and Systems, Election Symbols. Democracy, which is considered to be the best form of government, demonstrates itself through some of the institutions. These institutions function to realize the democratic aspirations of the people. Enlightened citizens. In a democracy, changes are brought about by the collective will of the people and not by the use of force. To make the right choices and to arrive at the right decisions, every citizen should be well informed and socially responsive. This does not mean that they should be highly educated or possess university degrees, but that they should be enlightened enough to make responsible decisions. In countries having large populations, people cannot directly govern themselves. They elect political leaders to represent them in the legislature. Elections are an important part of democracy. Political parties contest elections. The party leaders present their party's manifesto, campaign for public support, and convince the voters about the usefulness and suitability of their party's proposed policies at the time of elections. Several public meetings are held in which various issues and problems are discussed. Once elections are over, the party which gets the majority of votes forms the government. If none of the parties gets a majority, a coalition government is formed. Political awareness. Political awareness is concentrated among citizens with more resources and higher thinking ability, and this leads to specific forms of political inequality. Such people are also most politically active citizens. Political awareness is an important precondition of democracy. Politically enlightened citizens will be able to judge the performance of government. They make the correct choice of their representatives by evaluating the merits and demerits of different candidates. Such voters are not easily influenced by false promises made by the candidates or by their money or muscle power. The rulers of a democratic country are elected by citizens who are eligible to vote. As such, the rulers are answerable to voting public. Sound public opinion. Public opinion plays a major role in a democracy. Public opinion plays a major role in democracy. A democratic system grants people the right to formulate sound public opinion and the right to express it properly. No democratic government can ignore public opinion. Therefore, every government official has to take public opinion into account when deciding how to act. The wishes of the people on any issue or problem may be described as public opinion. It may not be the opinion of all the people. It generally is the opinion of a majority of the people. At times, even a minority may express an opinion which may be in the interest of the entire community. The process of development of public opinion generates thinking, promotes awareness, and invites people's views on issues of public concern. Elections and representation are two key elements or tools in indirect democracy. But election becomes an efficient tool of democracy only when it truly reflects the will of all people. Universal Adult Franchise. A universal adult franchise means that the right to vote should be given to all adult citizens without discrimination on the basis of caste, color, class, religion, or sex. It is based on equality, which is a basic principle of democracy. It demands that the right to vote should be equally available to all. To deny any class of persons from exercising this right is to violate their right to equality. In fact, the spirit of democracy can be maintained only if the people are given the right to vote without any discrimination. In modern democratic governments, all men and women who have attained a minimum prescribed age are allowed to vote and elect their representatives. In other words, 
franchise or the right to vote is available to entire adult population of the country in india all citizens who attain the age of 18 are given the right to vote only people convicted of certain criminal offenses and of unsound mind are not allowed to vote An important principle of adult franchise is the rule of one person one vote which is based on equality of citizens democracy assumes equality of men and women rich and poor educated and illiterate no citizen is less than others in respect of the right to vote elections elections should be held in a fair manner In India the holding of elections is the responsibility of the election commission which announces the date of elections elections can be held in the entire country or state at one date or it can be spread over a few days political parties declare the names of the people who will contest from each constituency the people who contest elections are called candidates Individuals who are not from any political party too can become candidates and contest elections. These candidates file their nomination papers. If their nomination papers are found correct, their names are printed on the ballot paper. They are also given election symbols. On the date of the election, the people go to the election booth and cast their votes by marking their choice on the ballot papers. or by pressing a button on the electronic voting machine EVM after the votes have been cast the ballot boxes or the EVMs are taken to counting centers where the votes are counted and the results are declared elections cannot be free and fair if the following situations exist some sections of people do not enjoy the right to vote and are left out from the process of choosing representatives Certain individuals or groups try to prevent other people from voting by use of force or by threats. A candidate or a party spreads unjustified and mean rumors against some other candidate to discourage people from voting for that candidate. Authorities that are entrusted with the conduct of elections side with a particular candidate or party and manipulate the election process. In situations like these people are either not free to express their preference or are treated unfairly secret ballot a method of voting that ensures that all votes are cast in secret so that the voter is not influenced by any other individual and at the time of voting no one else knows who the voter chose thus the secret ballot is an essential feature of democratic elections in for hive there was a time when only men were given the right to vote it was called manhood suffrage brain tickler in which elections is simple majority system used pre printed ballot papers and electronic voting machines are commonly used in elections they feature the names of candidates with respective check boxes or buttons for the voters to make their choices simple majority system the absolute majority and simple majority are two systems of electing representatives absolute majority means securing more than half of the total votes polled simple majority means securing the highest number of votes the simple majority indicates that the winning candidate may or may not have secured more than half of the total votes polled it is the common of course it is the most commonly used system of election general election by election and midterm election the term general election is used when elections take place all over the country or in a state to constitute a new legislature in general elections lok sabha and vidhan sabha elections take place every 5 years in a by election election is held only for one constituency to fill the vacancy caused by death or resignation of a member midterm elections are held much before the scheduled period of 5 years the president can dissolve the lok sabha 
before the completion of its term of five years and order fresh elections to constitute a new house. Election Campaign Every political party and every candidate must consider how to communicate the message of the campaign and try to reach out to as many voters as possible. The parties appeal to the voters to vote for them. They make use of the newspapers, radio, television, wall posters, roadside hoardings, banners, handbills, corner or chopal meetings and media. They hold protests, rallies and other similar public events. Holding mass meetings with speakers is a powerful tool as it shows visually through the number of people in attendance the support that the campaign has. Election Manifesto An election manifesto is a document issued by every party before a general election. It lists the party's policies and programs for the future. This way the voter can decide whom he or she would like to vote for. Procedure of Election An election is a contest among different candidates from various parties out of which the voters elect one as their representative. Let us understand the steps involved in an election procedure. First of all, the entire area, the whole country in the case of Lok Sabha elections and of that particular state in case of legislative assembly elections is divided into as many constituencies as there are seats. After the segregation of constituency, the voters' list of each constituency is prepared and published. The dates of election, filing of nomination papers and withdrawals are fixed by the election commission. Any person who wants to fight the election can file his nomination papers by the due date. His name must be there in the voters' list and he should be eligible to fight election. His name should be proposed and seconded by the voters of that constituency. Every candidate has to deposit some security, rupees 25,000 for Lok Sabha and rupees 10,000 for state assemblies along with his nomination papers. A date is fixed for the study of all the nomination papers. If the nomination papers of any candidate are found to be not in order, they are rejected. The candidates can also withdraw their names from elections up to a certain date fixed by the election commission. The next stage in the election is the election campaign by various candidates and political parties. Posters are distributed, meetings are held and speeches are delivered. Processions are also taken out and sometimes use of radio and television is also made. Through all these means, Voters are requested for votes. The election campaign normally ends 48 hours before the election. Although every political party or candidate is free to do their election campaign, yet according to our election laws, no party or candidate can bribe or threaten the voters. Appeal to the voters in the name of caste or religion. Use government resources for election campaign. Spend more than 70 lakh for a Lok Sabha election and 28 lakh for an assembly election. In case they indulge in any of the above practices, their election can be annulled by the court even after they have been duly elected. In addition to the laws, all the political parties in the country have agreed to a model code of conduct for the election campaign. This includes... Any place of worship shall not be used for election propaganda. Criticism of the opposing candidates shall be limited to their policies and programs, past record of public service and no mention of their private personal lives should be made. The government official transport like cars, vehicles, machinery and aircraft and personnel shall not be used by government officials or ministers for the purpose of election campaigning. No posters, pamphlets, notices or slogans shall be placed on any building without the permission of the owner. No minister shall lay down foundation stones of any project, 
make appointments and transfer of officials or make any promises for providing public facilities after the elections have been announced on the date fixed earlier voting takes place for voting election booths are set up voters go to the polling booths and cast their votes for the candidates of their choice voting is held by secret ballot these days electronic voting machines evms are used to record votes evm has the names of the candidates and their election symbols the voters have to press the button against the name and symbol of the candidate they wish to vote for after the voting is over the ballot boxes or the evms are sealed and taken to the counting centers there the ballot boxes are opened before the candidates or their agents and votes are counted under the supervision of the returning officer the candidate who gets the highest number of votes is declared elected from that constituency if any candidate feels that the election in his constituency has not been held properly or if he has any objection against the result he can file an election petition in the court if the objections raised are found to be correct the court can set aside that election in such an event the election has to be held again in that constituency officers on election duty chief election commissioner cec is appointed by the president under the cec are two election commissioners central and various state election commissioners each responsible for elections in their respective states at the constituency level the returning officer appointed by the election commission is the main official responsible for conducting elections each polling booth has about 5 officials the presiding officer is in charge of the booth four other persons called polling officers assist her or him coalition government the government is formed by the political party which secures one half or more seats in the election however in many instances it is not possible for one party to secure one half of the seats in such a case there can be two alternatives hold re-elections or allow two or more parties to form a coalition since holding elections is an expensive procedure an effort is made to form a coalition advantages of coalition government a coalition government is a government by consensus that is the government has to realize the aspirations of all political parties forming the coalition there may be differences of opinion but they agree on certain common points and govern the country accordingly disadvantages of coalition government all actions of the government may not be to the liking of the political party in the coalition in such a case this party threatens to withdraw its support to the government if a political party in the coalition withdraws its support to the government and the coalition government is not left with one half or more seats then the government falls brain tickler political parties have become very powerful in india how can their powers be restricted so this type of government is unstable and inclined to the pressures of the political parties which compose the coalition political parties a political party is an organization of people which seeks to achieve goals common to its members through the acquisition and exercise of political power political parties are an essential component of democracy by competing in elections and mobilizing citizens behind particular visions of society as well as through their performance in the legislature parties offer citizens meaningful choices in governance avenues for political participation and opportunities to shape their country's future no person can be compelled to join a political party every citizen has the freedom to join or not to join a party each person has her or his views about the social economic and political issues facing the country 
every political party attempts to contest the elections, win as many seats as possible, and form its government. It is important that people who come together to form a party should have a certain degree of agreement among themselves on major policy issues. Political parties should be properly organized with a set of rules and good leaders to guide them. Parties need to be registered with the election commission. They must use only legal, constitutional and democratic means to gain power. A political party educates the people about their rights and the functioning of the government. It raises important local, national and international issues. InfoHive A representative elected to the Lok Sabha is called a Member of Parliament MP and the one elected to the State Assembly is called a Member of the Legislative Assembly MLA. Functions of Political Parties a political party issues its election manifesto in which it states the objectives for which it will work if voted to power. Every political party performs the following functions. Contest elections, selects candidates to contest elections from various constituencies, conducts election campaigns for its candidates, explains various issues and problems to the people helps to formulate public opinion, makes use of public meetings, processions, demonstrations and the press to interact with and influence the voters, gives expressions to public opinion and place it before the government, forms the government after winning the majority in the elections, functions as the opposition if it fails to secure a majority, Rival political parties point out the shortcomings in the election manifesto of other political parties and thus make the people aware. Upon election, the candidates of different political parties act according to their ideologies and manifestos. The members of the political party in power try to execute the election manifesto while those in the opposition criticize the government. The opposition checks the government from becoming authoritarian. The political party in opposition raises issues of public interest. It can also move adjournment motions and no confidence motions against the government. Party systems Different countries have different patterns or systems of political parties. These are one party system, if a country is governed by a single party with no other party allowed to function, it is called a one-party system. The voters' choice is limited to candidates put up by the party. It is also known as single-party system. Examples China and North Korea. Two-party system. Some countries have only two major parties which dominate politics within a government. The voters have a choice between two major parties. After elections, the winning party forms the government while the other sits in the opposition. People can change a government by voting the opposition to power. Examples the USA and Jamaica. Multi-party system. Some countries have more than two parties. The voters can choose between them. Sometimes no single party gets enough seats to form a government. Then a group of parties gets together and forms a coalition government. Disputes among parties may sometimes cause the fall of such government. Example India and Israel. Political parties in India. India has a multi-party system where political parties are classified as national, state or regional level parties. The status of a party is accorded by the Election Commission of India and the same is reviewed occasionally. All parties are registered with the Election Commission. National Parties A party has to live up to at least one of the following specifications to be recognized as a national party. In the last general elections, it has won a minimum of 2% of the seats in the Lok Sabha from at least three different states.
In general elections to the Lok Sabha or to state assemblies of any four or more states, the party must secure 6% of the votes and win at least four Lok Sabha seats as well. The party is recognized as a state-level party in four or more states. The Indian National Congress INC, Bharati Janata Party BJP, BJP and Communist Party of India Marxist CPIM are the three national parties currently recognized by the Election Commission. State or regional parties. A party has to live up to at least one of the following specifications. to be acknowledged as a state or regional party the party has to win at least 3 seats or 3% of the seats in the state legislative assembly it has to win minimum 1 seat in the lok sabha for every 25 seats or any fraction allotted to that concerned state in a particular election the party has to bag at least 6% of the total votes and also win one lok sabha and two assembly seats the status of a state party can still be bestowed upon an entity even if it fails to win any seats in the lok sabha or the assembly if it manages to win at least 8% of the total votes cast in entire state in delhi aam aadmi party aap in uttar pradesh samajwadi party sp Bhajan Samaj Party (BSP) in Arunachal Pradesh, Arunachal Congress (AC), and many more come under state political parties in India. Election symbols: The Election Commission allots election symbols to all parties registered with it. Symbols are reserved for free. A reserved symbol can be used only by the candidates of the party to which it has been allotted. A few examples of reserved symbols are hand congress lotus bjp elephant bsp clock ncp and hammer sickle and star cpim symbols that are not reserved for any party are called free symbols candidates of unrecognized parties and independent candidates can choose from the free symbols available with the election commission recap A democratic system grants people the right to formulate sound public opinion and the right to express it properly. A universal adult franchise means that the right to vote should be that the right to vote should be given to all adult citizens without the discrimination of caste, color, creed, class, religion or sex. In India the holding of elections is the responsibility of the election commission. Sometimes no single party gets enough seats to form a government. In such an event, a group of parties gets together and form a coalition government. A political party educates the people about their rights and functioning of the government. It raises important local, national and international issues. India has a multi-party system where political parties are classified as national state or regional level parties the election commission allots election symbols to all parties registered with it symbols may be reserved for free